Honestly, I'm surprised you went to stop at customs to the craft room. <laughs> Hello fellow yarn lovers, welcome back to the craft room. So as you've clicked on it, yes, this is the vlog for Turkey. This is me hunting for wool and yarn for three days flat in Istanbul. So we had a travel day, we had day one, day two, day three, and then we had travel back. So three full days. Obviously I hunted for other things as well, but like the yarn was way more important. Um, there was so much yarn that that is in a separate yarn haul video because my original plan was to do a little bit of a vlog and then obviously I'd stick the haul on the end. But no, there was so much good footage that you should see about yarn and just like generally being in Istanbul. So if you're interested in traveling to Istanbul, like I would highly recommend. The food's great, like just the city's great. We went when it wasn't too hot. So it was like February 20th when we went and it was just like such a nice temperature for, I mean, for us Brits anyway, because we live in like, like coldness so for it to be 16 degrees was like wonderful t-shirt weather um if you're admiring this by the way i've just published this tutorial about a week ago this is my granny heart stitch hexagon cardigan so go and check that out if you've not already um i want to see people do it in different colors and tag me so if you're not following me on instagram or tiktok or anything go give me a follow and tag me when you make this um so without further ado i'm going to throw you back you're going to see the ups the downs the scams the scandals uh, of istanbul and then if you want the haul the haul video will be published maybe like the day after. If you're watching this in the future then it doesn't matter because both videos will be there and you can find them. They'll be in my yarn travels folder. I've got a yarn travels folder. So grab a whip and without further ado, enjoy. Assuming that like future me who's had such a good time has sent you back in time, this is me the day of the flight and I am, um, let's put it lightly, shooting a brick. <laughs> I don't like flying at all. However, however, we've got to do it for the greater good which is buying yarn. Um, I have packed lightly, really lightly, because I'm anticipating to like well, I mean, I saw somebody on YouTube bring home like 130 balls of yarn, which is only like 13 kilograms. So, and I have a baggage allowance of 23. I haven't weighed this yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm like somewhere around the lines of like, I don't know, 7 to 10 kilograms. Because I literally got like enough for four days. Like, I'm the only person that will probably bring two pairs of shoes in this like The only woman known to bring just two pairs of shoes. One for walking and one for walking even more because we're going to have an explore. Um, I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I have to drive to the airport in, what time is it now? Come on, watch, wake up. It's 5 to 10, I have to start driving to the airport because I live like an hour away from the airport that we're going to be flying from, which is Manchester. And, uh, oh my God, I'm so scared. I don't like flying. My hand luggage is packed. I have six balls of wool in my hand luggage because I'm planning to make a scarf on this five hour flight. Um, so yeah, let's uh, zip up the suitcase. Let's get the suitcase in the car and let's, uh, let's off to the airport. I'll see you at the airport. Oh my God. Also, if anybody tries to take my, uh, my bags, I'd be like, no, it's not yours, it's mine. That's home bargains for the win. Okay, my back knack cannot cope with all the suitcases. So we're waiting, there he is waiting for him to come and get the suitcases okay right so we're in the terminal and uh we're like way too early for check-in <laughs> so we have to wait with all the bags for like like an hour we could have just got the earlier flight but you know we can't predict the future okay one passport scare and a very long security check-in i actually got to bring my crochet hook i am that metal on the flight so we're gonna go and chill and get a coffee and pee and then we'll get on the plane in about an hour maybe an hour and a half i think but it's got a delay Okay, we've landed. Oh my God, this is gonna fall down. We're gonna get our big bags and then get a taxi to the hotel. Okay, we finally found the bags. 
and then we bumped into this. It looks like Christmas, but obviously it's not, but it's looked really pretty. So we're gonna find the exit, get a taxi, and then, uh, yeah, go and find the hotel. Literally just got into the hotel. Hello, I'm tired. Oh my God, right. It just took us like 45 minutes. This is the bathroom. I've not even seen this yet. Oh, that's nice. Feels posh. There's a, is that a butt washer? It just seem to have like a, like a butt washing tap, which I've never experienced before. Um, I can't even see the view because it's nighttime. It's literally in the UK, it's like midnight. Oh, there's like people down there. Apparently we have a sea view, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake this one up at 6 a.m. because I wanna go yarn hunting. So we shall see you in the morning. Oh, it's like 6 a.m. in the UK, but nine here. So we need to go for breakfast. I'm so tired, I feel fluey. Anyway, shh, people are awake, people are asleep. This is the view from the balcony. We just went down for breakfast. Oh my god, I, I got I get pains in my legs when I'm up high. Oh my god, where's the kitties? We saw these kitties when we were having breakfast. We were just having breakfast down there. So we can we book the room with like a view of the water, and yeah, this is pretty much a view of the water, kinda. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just chill for two minutes. Oh, there's a ship in the distance. We're gonna chill for like. Two, three minutes. I spilt juice all over the breakfast stuff. So uh, my hands are sticky. So I'm gonna go on back in here. It's a mess actually, don't look in there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go on to the uh, Grand Bazaar in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, we're on a walk. We've uh, found some iconic sites right there. It's so busy. When you see this, you know you're in the right spot. This is where you want to be. I think this is Mahmoud Pasha, I think. But yeah, you see this, this is the beacon for the yarn. Yes. I'm not going in. Okay. Oh my god, yes gold. Mm -hmm. Actually, at the moment, it's less easy. Yeah. Oh my god. 130 tickets shares. Sure. 
that is not. I'm in heaven. I think we just found the holy grail of yarn art, like literally, it, it is floor to ceiling in here of yarn art. So uh, we're going to pick some colours because we're going to make gifts, well I'm going to make gifts for family and stuff. I'm going to try and do a proper bit of vlog now. I don't know, being shouted at. Um, so we've got some yarn. What the hell are we being shouted at? He's on the phone. Um, it's a bit quieter here, the yarn bazaar is absolutely crazy. As you can see, um, but there is literally just just yarn everywhere. Like seriously, if you were going to come to Istanbul for yarn, like do it. It's great. Um, it's weird walking around, like like filming myself, but yeah. we're just gonna walk around. Like this. Are you having a good time? Show them my show them my haul. Yes. Yeah. I'll show you what we. Oh, kitty! I have to go. It is absolutely crazy here. We just we've come out of the yarn bazaar. Well, the upstairs bit is really like just full of yarn everywhere, floor to ceiling. So this is like the downstairs bit of the yarn bazaar, and it's all in this corner. Um, I'll like I'll put the street name of where it was like on the bottom somewhere. But um, yeah, it wasn't too hard to find. We just googled it, and uh, I'll put like I'll put stuff in the description. But I think I'm gonna uh, torture my loved one a little bit more. We're gonna go back in because I saw some colours that I like. Um, I'm on the lookout for um, like yarn art flowers or like some kind of dupe for yarn art flowers because it's £10 in the UK and I don't want to pay £10 for it obviously and I saw another YouTuber say she got it for like two quid so yeah we're on the hunt we're back in the yarn bit downstairs so as you can see it's all behind me Hello. so right um, I guess I'll catch up with you in five minutes okay I have enough for today there's some huge balls of yarn for 130 Turkish lira which is somewhere around three quid but um we're gonna head up to the Grand Bazaar now because I've literally bought like I've got 21 balls of wool so yeah well, I think we're gonna get some food We stopped off for a doner kebab. It, I think this is a famous place actually. I put the name of it underneath, but like this, this is so good. This was more expensive than the yarn, but it's so good. Right, we're currently chilling near the hotel. Um, this is Sultan Ahmed Park. Uh, we've got the Blue Mosque on this side over here. Um, it was just as on time. Um, and then this is the Hagia Sophia, which is cool. But yeah, it was it was pretty loud when they were doing the call to prayer. So we just thought that we'd chill. They did it earlier when we were in the wool bazaar. Um, and when they did it, it went quiet. So I managed to get some video footage of it like being a bit quieter. But then as soon as like the prayer time was over, like all these old women just came and were like pushing and shoving. And you know, there was no fisty cuffs, but like people wanted that yarn. So it was good. And um, there's a fountain in front of me, but it's not switched on. I'll, um, I'll turn my camera around. So there's the fountain. This is what we can see. I think you might still be able to hear the call to prayer actually. But yeah, it's pretty round here. Since it's like 11 a.m. in the UK, we have been out since like, what, UK time, 6 a.m.? Yeah, like we've been out of the hotel since like 6, 7 a.m. UK time. Uh, and considering we had like four, maybe five hours sleep after that plane journey, we're knackered. So we might go and have a little nap and then um, come back out. And I'm sure that that's not the only yarn bazaar. So if somebody's not fed up of, um, of yarn bazaars, and I'll be dragging him to more. But I got some really interesting pink yarn that I'll show you back. We just ate Turkish Delight. Um, I got some really cool pink yarn. Um, and I got some like peach yarn because I want to make a, a basket weave peach hexagon cardigan. Um, so really pleased with that. But um, yeah, uh, I'll update you when we get back to the hotel. We literally stood up and the fountains came on. So that's pretty cool. In Japan, there's a new bazaar on the way back to the hotel. So we're going to just have a look at I think I've seen walking videos in Istanbul of people in this bazaar. So it's pretty close to the hotel. We're going to go and just have a walk through and see what's on offer. Right, we just got back to the hotel. I need to take this hoodie off. Like, this hotel room is absolutely boiling. Like, when I walked through the bathroom earlier, 
Um, like the floor was heated, and I was like, I wish that we had that like in my house at home because my house at home is always cold. Um, but here, like I'm boiling. It's like people are walking around the street with coats on, and it just it must just be like the Nordic jeans that I have because like, I wanted to just walk around in a t-shirt today. Um, but no, no, I kept my hoodie on. Um, there is an absolutely massive ship coming into the Bosphorus right now. Oh my god, I've just stumbled the balcony, and it's just um, it just creaked. But yeah, there's a huge ship. This is the view. I don't know if I showed you it earlier. So. It's pretty cool. It was really foggy this morning. Yeah, I showed you that with my front camera. I need to get used to all this vlogging stuff. Um, but yeah, we're just going to chill for a bit because we were up at like UK equivalent time of 4am after having like 3, 4-ish hours sleep. Um, I've got 21 bowls of wool so far. We're going to go explore other parts of the city. If not later, then probably tomorrow. I think like priority right now is to have a nap. Um, I'm trying to vlog as much as I can of like these yarn ex like, expeditions. <laughs> But yeah, it's like pretty good so far. The building noise in the background is annoying. But um, I mean, we, we literally just sleep here and nap here. So like, it's not going to bother us because we can just close the door and you don't hear it. Oh, it stopped. But yeah, um, would recommend so far. Let's say uh, I'm going to go and count my wool balls and then I'm going to nap. Oh my God, right. We ended up having like a three hour nap. Um, and then we just went out for dinner. We got some footage. We got Din Din's in a pot and he hits the pot and it breaks and it's on fire and it's quite dramatic and um, but I think we they tried to scam us because um like we ordered like a, like a lamb stew in a, a chicken pot stew to like share so we got that and it was nice but then they tried to charge and we we actually ended up getting beef because we were eating it and we were like this is not lamb this is beef so we asked the waiter we were like this is not lamb and he went no no it's beef and we went okay but then when we got the receipt they tried to charge us um for lamb which was more expensive so we were like no I don't think so um, and then they had added like a, a VAT on um, and when we challenged them about the, the lamb like they quickly adjusted the price and then they scribbled off the VAT and it's like oh, these people they know about scams so yeah we just like avoided getting scammed Um, I think it was like 1,600 ish Turkish lira for two din dins and like I had a, a bottle of sparkling water and uh, he had just a bottle of water water because like we were just not feeling like any alcohol or anything <laughs> it's been a while um, but yeah, that was it. And then we decided that we we're going to just leave and not have dessert there because it was a bit overpriced and yeah, it was uncomfortable after that. So then we had a walk up and down. We debated getting more baklava, not more baklava, more Turkish delight. Debated baklava, but then <laughs> ended up in McDonald's and we got a McDonald's ice cream. Um, but yeah, so plan is to go to bed. Um, and then we'll get up quite early. I really want to see the um, the underground chambers, the basilica, I think. I don't know. I'll, I'll write down what we want to go and see. But yeah, so pretty good first day. I got 21 balls of wool, which was good. So I guess I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's day two. It's t-shirt weather for me, but it's like everybody has coats on. But like I'm probably northern lass. So I'm like, I didn't bring any t-shirts. I've just got this one. Come on, you need to find the wool. So we're going to go off to uh, the Basilica Cistern first because we've got tickets which were 23 euros each um, and then probably going to eat on some kebabs, find more wool. Um, we might go to the um, the tower, there's like a tower that you can go here. I've got nothing in my brain at the minute so I can't remember its name, like the gala tea something. Anyway, we're going to the tower so yeah, I'm just going to get past all these restaurants and try not to get dragged in because we've already had breakfast. Okay, we just got in. You want to look down? Oh my god. No, my legs are hurting. Does he have? Oh, it's too high. Is it too high for me? Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't, I can't. It's the water, isn't it? Yes, I can't. It looks like, you know, underneath the Adams family house. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is cool. If I knew, I was watching documentaries with this, and I forgot all the facts to like have an interesting bit of spiel whilst we're here. Is it yeah, I think it's like like over a thousand. I think. Wow.
And then yeah. Uh, right, so we're just kind of walking along. We're just going to walk with no direction. We might find food, etc. And uh, we can walk in the middle of the road because, as you can see, there is a dog asleep in the middle of the road. So I don't think any cars are coming down here. But there's loads of places to eat. But um, I need to shop today. I think I'd like to get myself some kind of bag, maybe some shoes, but definitely yarn, like always yarn. This kitty cam. This is like the hundredth cat I've seen. Don't touch it. Might bite you. It's got ginger cat energy. What oh, shame. Ah, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay, so the Grand Bazaar is over there. We went, we went in yesterday. We're trying to get around because we want to go. There's some, oh, bread. Um, there's some kind of like fish sandwich that we're going to go for. Oh. Ow, my back. Oh. Um, yeah, there's some kind of fish sandwich that we're going to go. So we're going to go and find the, the bridge that connects both sides of the European like half of the city and um, we watched a YouTuber and he said that walk above the bridge because if you walk below the bridge the people in the restaurants will try to physically pull you in so we're not going to do that we're going to walk on top okay apparently apparently we're near another wool shop we're searching deep in the, the back streets kind of around the Grand Bazaar but not like so close to it but yeah apparently there's a wool shop around here No. Lace shop. Shoes. Tiaras. I guess it's not down here. Unless that's it. That looks like yarn. Is that yarn? Not very much of it. No? No, it's like that rope stuff. Oh, if I was a dressmaker, this would be an awesome place to come for material, but alas, I cannot sew. Anyway, right, the search continues.
Okay, we're still on the hunt for wool. Um, this, it's so busy, like look, the sheer volume of people, like I'm struggling to get past. <laughs> there we go. Still hunting for yarn. We're trying to find the bridge because we want to cross over into the North European bit, but I think we're about to stumble upon the Spice Bazaar. So let me like, I'll turn the camera around and I'll just like show you what we're walking through. Oh my god, we just went up the steepest hill. I mean, I thought where I lived that the hills were steep, but my god, uh, I think I might need my inhaler after this. But we found the tower. There it is. There's some construction going on. Like, the actual height of it, like, it's so high. You can't, like, see it through video, but believe me, this is really high. Like, we must be about 400 metres above sea level now. Anyway, I'm going to find a cold beverage and uh, my inhaler. the naughty ice cream men but I, I don't feel like being a vi don't feel like being a victim right now <laughs> so we're just gonna walk back along I think it's Istakal Street I don't know uh, Istakal I think yeah so oh these things right this you think it's a coach but it's teensy look it's, a, it's like a baby coach anyway we're gonna walk back along Istakal Street because we got the red tram like up the street and it's so noisy here. Everybody's smoking. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna walk back along. I can't find any yarn. Every time I Google them and like we see it, it's just a textile shop. It's like really like hard to find them. So, I mean, if all else fails, I'll just go back to the yarn bazaar and buy everything. But hopefully we should be able to find one or two more yarn hotspots. Okay, so we were on Istakal Street, which is now about like a mile that way or something. We just had to walk down the steepest hill. Um, I found in my phone like a yarn shop and after I was like oh I'm so tired I need to sit down and then when I saw the yarn shop I was like the energy is renewed let's go and find the yarn shop so I think we have to go down this way now All so right, right I will uh, resume recording when we get to the yarn shop
Okay, we found it, right? But it's way more expensive than it is at the Grand Bazaar. Um, like, for example, the pink I bought in the Grand Bazaar was 25 lira, but it, like here, the exact same stuff was 39. So let's go back to the Grand Bazaar. Okay, right, we've been back past the Galata Tower. Um, there are cats everywhere, it's great. But yeah, it's, we just, we happened to go down this ridiculously steep street to get back to a metro. Oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna take like 10 cats home, I swear. Yeah, so we have to go down this, oh my god, like if you could see that, this is normal level. This is how steep it is. Like I can feel my toes touching the front of my shoes. So we're gonna go get the metro back to Sultan Ahmed. Um, probably play the victim with an ice cream man. Um, and I don't think we need a nap, but like probably just go and rest at the hotel because we've literally walked like so much and my back is hurting. So yeah, that's where we're up to, no. Right, okay, we managed to find a, a, a tram back to Sultan Ahmed and now we are at the Blue Mosque and the Aga Sophia. So we're gonna go back to the hotel now. That literally took, what, what even time is it now? What uh, time is it? 20 to five. 20 to five, so we were trying to find, wait, what is it three o'clock? We were trying to find this wool shop? Yeah. Anyway, we'll find our way back to the, the tower, had a kebab, walked down a very steep hill, nearly got scammed by a guy who, um, the, the guy who's cleaning shoes, he drops his brush and then he scams you. But uh, we didn't drop the brush, but he picked, um, no, we didn't pick up the brush. He dropped the brush and we were like, nah, mate, not happening. Um, there's a, a kitty, it looks like I brought sneaky. And there's a dog. But okay, right, we're almost back at the hotel. I'm gonna pick up some more sour cherry juice because it's well good. Uh, a bit. You want to be the victim? Trying to wind a fat girl up with ice cream. Quite nice though. It's that chocolate flavour, but it's nutty and it's quite chewy. How's yours? Mm, amazing. I think he had a better time with you. Mm. I think I was just like, not happening, mate. I'm not. <coughs> I'm not biting a tissue. Anyway, to the hotel. Finally, we have made it back to the hotel. Oh, I can take these sunglasses off now because uh, my little eyes can't take the sunshine outside. I haven't actually bought any sunglasses or any like I think I've bought two like my like, paying like card holders basically for my little brother um like members of my family are sending in requests for like Dior Chanel saddlebags etc so I'm like okay shopping day is tomorrow because today like with my back I'm not really supposed to walk too much but like like we had to do all the walk and we ended up in like a this like area that's not even touristy like yeah but it, I mean, it was okay, it was fine. Um, four more balls of wool to add to the collection. So that is now 25 balls of wool we have so far. I feel like I'm still like 75 balls short of where I want it to be. Um, so I think we're either gonna go back later on today to like the bit near the Grand Bazaar basically, which was like Yarnland. Um, I want some of those massive 500 gram balls of the acrylic because they were such nice colors. Like there was like a whiny red, which was like a purpley whiny red. Like I can't even think what to call that color. Like a I don't even know but um yeah so I want that I had some nice greens I want some um yarn art flowers because we found like this place that just stocks pure yarn art so I'm gonna go and get that um 
<laughs> when we were in, when we were in this like not touristy area at all, like, I don't even know like, if I can get like a map here and put a pin of this area where we went where there was literally no tourists, nobody spoke any English. Usually in the tourist areas, there's loads of like police presence, um, but here like there was no, there was not. We were, we were like holding onto our bags, like are we gonna get mugged? Because some people looked a bit dodgy. Other people were friendly. Um, the yarn shop didn't speak any English, but yeah. So in this like little square where these people were feeding pigeons. Somebody, not me, somebody who's showering right now got pooed on by a pigeon. Um, luckily, like, I'm all like, you know, Mother Goose walking around with all my, you know, painkillers and tissues and everything in my little, my fanny pack or a bum bag as we call them in the UK. So, yeah, I had to, like, take a tissue out and, like, wipe his head because there was a nice poo on his head. Um, so, yeah, he's got a shower now. But, yeah, um, we're going to just chill. We're, we've got full tummies. We just kept getting street food and stuff. So, full tummies. And then I'm going to drag him back to Yarnland later. All right, it's uh, 7.52. We're going to go and find some food. We had a nap. Well, somebody had a nap. I was just looking for more yarn places on Google. So, yeah, let's go and find, like, a big greasy kebab. We're in uh, Sultan Ahmed Square. We're just uh, taking in the scenery. Let me show you the scenery. There's the Hagia Sophia. And then this one is the Blue Mosque. It's pretty peaceful around here. There's quite a big police presence, which is a good thing, I suppose. Um, but yeah, behind us, there is like, so over this way, can you see my finger? Like over this way, there's like restaurants and stuff. So we're going to go along there and try not to get scammed because we got scammed, well, half scammed last night. We caught onto it and we were like, no, we're not paying this. So we're, um, yeah, going to go and find something to eat. I'm not going to film too much just because it's like, it's weird having my phone out and I'm not used to this. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll get my phone out and I've just stood in somebody's ice cream. That's gross. Um, yeah, so I'll try not to film like, like inside or walking around the streets because it's weird but yeah all the dogs that were asleep during the day are now awake so there's a doggo just there <laughs> all the doggies are waking up now all the cats have gone I'm good <laughs> i'm just about to tell you guys don't go to this restaurant because they tried to scam you and then the call to prayer literally just started happening but yeah that's where we went yesterday which was not like the food was okay but the prices and the people yeah anyway um yeah, the restaurant search continues. Okay, we found a huge kebab. Ottoman kebab? Yeah, big Ottoman kebab. We also made a friend. There's a friend waiting for some kebab right there. So yeah, we're going to eat this and then, yeah, yum yum. I found a lady crocheting on the street. I don't think she can talk. I don't think she'll be able to speak with you. She can't talk, I think. I don't think she can talk. I just bought a hat of this lady. The yeah. hair crochet. Do you want to show her? Yeah. 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 <laughs> So I just bought this hat of this lovely lady here. So it was 130 lira, but uh, this hat is also beautiful. So that was a good, that was a nice treat. Yeah, she's showing all of them. Yeah, so this lady is outside this restaurant here, selling all these beautiful hats. So if you come here, get a hat, because these are so beautiful.
It's the end of day two. I'm gonna move on to day three. My hair's gone a bit crazy. I uh, just bought that hat from the crochet lady who was nice. She couldn't like speak, like speak, speak, like not just Turkish, but like she couldn't speak, bless her. But um, yeah, so I got a nice hat. I haven't tried it on yet. I just wanted to like support fellow crochet artist. Um, but we're gonna head back to the hotel. We're literally just next to uh, the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia, wherever it is over there. Um, so yeah, we did loads today. We've literally done like like 20,000 steps. I'm gonna have to take a very strong painkiller when we get back. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over to the old side tomorrow. Um, there's like two wool shops that I wanna go to, so we have to get a ferry, which is exciting. Um, our Istanbul card that you use on all public transport works on the ferries, so yeah. We're gonna do that. Two wool shops I wanna see. Any other wool shops is a bonus. It's getting really dark here, but look how pretty it is in the background. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much the day. We saw the tower. We walked across the bridge. We, uh, we rode on the tram, which was fun. And, and we walked a lot. We walked a lot. I'm, like, I'm gonna be really suffering like for the next few days with my back neck. So yeah, kids, when I'm back at school, be gentle. Like. I'm gonna be in pain, but it's worth it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go back to the hotel, get some shut eye, wake up, have breakfast, um, try not to steal cats, even though there's so many, so many cute kitties around here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've said that's pretty much it about five times now, but there's nothing else to say really. I think when I edit the footage, then like you'll just see how much fun it was. And yeah, definitely recommend coming here. I mean, especially look at this, like iconic and iconic like right there so okay this is the end of day two we're gonna see you day three bye it's day three i'm gonna try filming at this angle because when i look back at the footage all you can see is chins talking to you um so yeah we're gonna head out we are gonna have you got the card yeah okay the boat card yes okay right so we're gonna go and get on a boat over to the uh, asian side of the city and we are gonna continue the hunt for wool uh, my family have put in orders for certain bags um, and I quite fancy a pair of pink trainers so we'll see what happens. Let's go and catch this boat. But first we have to walk through the old bazaar and the spice bazaar. Would you like to come home with me? Oh, you're mine now. <laughs> Just like to point out that I am not wearing a coat at all because I'm boiling. It's 11 degrees so it's basically British summertime. But everybody, everybody around Sultan Ahmed, sorry. Everybody around here is literally in coats and hats and scarves. Let me just flip it around. So everybody, coats, hats and scarves. Us being used to the British climate. I'd be in a t-shirt if my t-shirt didn't have a big stain down it this morning. Honestly, it's boiling. Okay, we found the ferries, but there's like a million of them. So we have to figure out which ferry it is that gets us over to the Asian side, because this is the North European side. So we need to get over there somehow. I think. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Quite calm today.
Okay, right, so we just, oh my god, guys, right, the price is in here. So I found this. This is basically like what they sell on Hobby, but not sparkly. It's a bit like the Hobby Universe colours. Um, this is basically like, in the UK, this is £1.40, so in dollars, I'm guessing like one seventy, one eighty dollars um, So I'm going to get ten of these. Um, this, um, there's no reason, I just want it. Uh, I want this colour. This is 25% wool. This is, where's it gone? Oh my god, there's just so much here. This is uh, 43 lira, which is like just basically over a pound. It's like one pound ten. So I'm gonna get ten of these to make something. This is basically like hobby metallical. Um, it's about two pound twenty-five for one of these. So I've got projects where I need to do lettering. So I'm gonna use some of these at uh, Yana Model. I've got fluff in my mouth. Uh, this there is no reason why I want this. I just want it. Um, but this this shop is just. Fabulous, look at my, it's carrying all my yarn. <laughs> um, I'm not finished yet, like, there's just so much here. It's pretty much similar prices to what's over in the um, the European side. And what are you done? Did you say done? I am not done. Um, it's pretty much similar, same prices-ish to what's on the European side. However, like, they're just, they're really nice and friendly here. They, they gave us a basket when, when he was struggling to carry all my yarn. So we're just gonna, like, keep shopping. Um, there's also a rail of clothes here, which is pretty, so we'll have a look through those. But yeah, I'm not done. I'm just, uh, leave me to it and then I'll do a haul, like, when we're back.
exchange rate of these like Neko DK, which is like comparable to like Stylecraft in the UK. They're literally like a pound because 30 today, 39 Turkish lira is a pound, like 39.2 something. Okay, so like these are literally like a pound. My bank balance is not safe and I got paid yesterday. <laughs> okay, so I might have accidentally, what on earth is going on there? How do you even get a tractor up there? Um, I've accidentally spent too much money and I'm about to accidentally spend more. So let's go in and have a look at this one. This one is this one. Okay, this shop is way smaller. I uh, found some papatia. They've got t-shirt yarn. Um, I don't see a price. I don't know if we can go upstairs. Um, but it's a lot smaller in here. Yeah. I think we have too much anyway. Should we go? Yeah. This was literally around the corner. So it's like a pound for this amigurumi yarn. Okay, we're going to go in. Let's just have a look out here. We're going in. We're just going to have a look here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's go and have a look. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, you know how I feel about Papatia Batik. This, so like the cheapest I can find Papatia Batik in the UK is two pound fifty. Um, darling, would you please just do forty six divided by thirty nine for me, please, and we'll get an exchange rate on this. Twelve. Twelve. No. Look, th this is literally like hanging up with. Like they don't have the whirly pop one that I used for Tinkerbell, but like it's just you know it's pretty much the same stuff. Quick, give me the exchange. Thirty nine. No, forty six divided by thirty nine. 46 divided by 39 1.72 so this is this is literally like rounded up one pound 20. okay they've got the chunky version which is like pretty much the same price it is one pound 20 for papachi batik that is literally half price of the uk guys you need to come here Okay, so we just like battled our way through. I would literally weighed down with yarn bags. I think I've spent like a bit too much on yarn. So we're gonna we're gonna head back over on the ferry, um, and then we're gonna we'll probably go for something to eat. Probably gonna go back to the Grand Bazaar and get some stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm like I'm pleased with my haul. So we're gonna go buy more and there. Uh, yeah, but these are so heavy, so I'm gonna have to stop filming. It's really hard to film when you've got like 10 kilograms of yarn around your arms. You know, the dogs in Turkey do not give a flying, you know, they, they don't care. He's just going to cross the road when it's not even a green man. He's going. 
<laughs> okay, we just got back to the hotel. Like, I need to lie down because my back is absolutely killing. Oh, right, okay, lying down. I'll do the vlog lying down because my back, like, the place where the disc is torn is, like, on fire. It's really bad. Um, I need to take some more painkillers anyway, but we didn't eat while we were out, so I can't take any of, like, the, like, anti-inflammatory type painkillers, but I'll do that, don't worry. Um, right, so we have five shopping bags of yarn. Let me just kind of, I'm going to just sit, sort of. So, as you can see, this is the yarn that we got. I'm going to do a full haul when we get back. So, we just literally carted those back. We got the ferry from Karakoy. And then it went to the North European bit and then it went back to, I'm so sorry if I make a mess of the pronunciation, but to me it looks like the word Emnanu. I might, I probably will be saying that wrong. Um, but yeah, um, so good journey. Boiling, like, it's weird. Everybody in the city is literally wearing like coats and hats and scarves. And then we're walking around like, why is it so hot? It's like British summertime. It's like 12 degrees, but to us that, that's literally summer. Um, but yeah, so that was a really good haul. Um, I will, I got like four bags of stuff in the, I can't say its word, the Yun Evi Errol, like the first one, the big one that we spent loads of time in that had a cat. There was a cat asleep. It was fabulous. Um, and then the second shop we went in wasn't great. Like it was okay, but we weren't going to buy anything because the, the, the yarn felt a bit like, like not like as good quality. Um, so we didn't buy anything in that second one that was just across. But then we went to, um, oh, I don't know the name of it. I'll put the names like on the screen. So we went to the third one that we saw there and that was lovely. It had loads of papatia and I really wanted the beige, like papatia batik, but like they literally had one ball. Um, but I've not seen anywhere else around here that, that sells papatia batik, even though like it is like a Turkish brand. Um, but it's fine. We're going to go back to the bazaar shortly. I'm just going to wait for some painkillers to kick in because it's our last day. Because tomorrow the taxi going to pick us up at like half seven in the morning so yeah anyway we're going to just recover rest for like an hour or so and then we'll go and eat some food and then probably do a bit of shopping around the grand bazaar and then yeah just like basically spend like all the little bits of cash lira that we've got because we exchanged some money and it's like what's the really the point of taking it back to the uk let's just spend it so yeah that's where we're up to i will check in shortly right okay we've rested we've taken painkillers there's a dog right there Honestly, the dogs here are fearless. Um, so we're gonna go back to the Grand Bazaar, get some stuff, um, and just like have one kind of last look around because we gotta travel back home at half seven in the morning. Okay, so I have to cover my hair when we go in. So there's like signs, the sign is right there. So I obviously have to cover this. So I bought pink, obviously. So I'm gonna take these off. I have no idea how to do this, so I'm gonna get some help. But I'm gonna take this, this off and then get covered up. The queue is absolutely horrendous. I look like I'm going for a drive in like a 1950s style car. But yeah, the queue is horrendous. I don't know if we can film inside, but I will if I can. Look inside. It's pretty cool. It's massive. It's really cool. Look at this. Hang on, there's a big pillar in the way. Let me turn the camera around. outside in the courtyard and uh, it's like all marble floors and stuff we put our shoes back on so I guess we'll just have a walk around there he is <laughs> okay we're leaving now let me just get through the door Oh, okay, right, that's better. It was just too hot. Could not deal with that. I'll probably go straight. I'm too hot. Right, okay. Right, I need food now. Actually, there was bird shit on this, by the way. It's so glad. I'd, it's a good thing that I didn't have to do any prayers or whatnot because, like, you cannot pray with bird shit on you. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Anyway, 
This is only 70 lira, which is like less than two quid. So it's nice, it'll do for at home. Although I have bought enough old crochet myself, about 20 scarves so far. So, ugh. right, on with food. We appear to be lost. Um, I think we are in the pants district. There's a lot of... I don't think I'll be buying anything here. Oh, actually, maybe those. They look like parachutes. They look comfy after all these kebabs. Find ourselves back in the yarn bazaar. Oh, there's a kitty behind me. Look at the kitty. Can you see the kitty? There he is. Right, okay, we're back. Um, tried to get some Balenciaga trainers, but like I would rather pay £100 for wool rather than £100 on Balenciaga trainers. Balenciaga. So let's go and spend £100 on wool. Okay, so we're in another yarn shop. We're upstairs in the yarn bazaar. I've just bought some, um, it's like animal print fuzzy yarn and I just couldn't leave it alone because I saw it the other day and I wanted it. So hang on, I'm not looking at the camera because I'm looking at all the yarn. There were some papaya cakes and there's some Nako Angora stuff. So it's 43 lira per ball, which is basically like just over a quid. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep looking. Um, there's, I want something like, which is like a one ball shawl scheme. Somebody's tired, what a shame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've dragged him up and down this city so that I can get some yarn. Um, so yeah, I think I'll pick some yarn out from here because I need one more colour for a project that I'm going to share with you probably in a couple of weeks when I get back and get all my stash sorted out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool in here. I like this, this red and black one. That's pretty cool. I've not seen that before. Okay, so the, the hunting continues. Right, this place is hidden away in the corner. It's pretty much all yarn art in this one. There he is. So we're gonna see what we can get here. There's loads of yarn art flowers, but I don't know the price yet. It's all down there. Yarn art flowers. I'll get a price. Oh, it was touch and go there. Um, there was a problem with the card machine. I mean, I had plenty of money saved up for this trip, but there was a problem with the card machine. But luckily, we had some cash. So I just got loads of balls of yarn art for thirty-four pound. No, twenty. £24? And I'll figure it out when I get back to the hotel. But yeah, we basically just bought like 26 balls of yarn for £35-ish, pound, which is an absolute steal. Okay, we're almost back at the hotel. We just walked back between uh, the Sultan of my head and the um, Aya Sophia. No, that's the Aya Sophia. That's the Sultan of my head, the Blue Mosque. Um, so yeah, we yeah, have like a ridiculous... Look at these. This is yarn art. A ridiculous amount of yarn. Um, it's great. Like, honestly, best yarn holiday ever. Somebody's tired. I've worn him out. Too much shopping. I've uh, got a few, a few handbags. We'll probably pick some stuff up at the airport. Um, but I think we're just going to go and rest and decide what to do because we have to, like, leave at 7.30 in the morning. So it's probably a good idea to do all the packing now. And then we can, like, just pretty much get up and go tomorrow because we leave before breakfast starts. So we'll have to have an airport breakfast. Okay, so we are back in the hotel room. We've like kind of had a rest and stuff. I'm going to start getting packed. So these are all like the individual balls of wool. These are my vacuum bags, by the way. So I've got like all the balls of wool that I've like, got individual. So I've got a project in mind which uses like this purple, these colours, etc, etc. Um, yeah, so loose balls in this bag first. Uh, I've got loads of these papatia cakes hiding. I don't think they'll vacuum pack very well because like they're pretty solid. Um, I got 14 of these. These were 30 lira each, um, which is like basically less than a quid each, which was fabulous. So I got like 14 of those for like less than like 10 pounds or something. Um, I've got 10 of these, which are like in the, in the light. Like this is like a weird kind of pink. It's really cool. It's shimmery. Um, this little guy needs to go into here. I'm going to use this for embroidery. Um, lots of stuff in here. We've got this neon stuff that I bought first. We've got, I don't even know what that was. It's, it's really squishy. Um, loads of stuff in there. Stuff in here. I'm gonna make a pizza blanket. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pizza blanket. It's basically a circle that keeps going. Uh, excuse my suitcase. We've got some yarn art flowers, which were three quid each. So I've got two of those. I'm gonna make myself a hexagon. Um, that's the other four of those. Uh, I've got a green project in mind. So I've got like 10 of these. Oh, this is a spare ball. I actually got, this is the 11th one of these, there's another 10 of these somewhere. This was like, I can't remember what the price of it was, but it was very inexpensive. It was like £1.30-ish, I'm going to say. But it reminds me of the hobby yarn that I stalked for ages, just without the sparkle. So definitely having this. So I'm going to try and get them into my suitcase. So 
Let's start with the vacuum packing. Hopefully this goes well. Okay, right, things are vacuum packed, but we need to borrow the vacuum from reception, okay? So, um, yeah, like, so pleased with these. Literally had a Google of these NACO ones, and these are literally, if you try and get these in the UK, these are £4.50 minimum to try and get in the UK. And I literally got, like, they were, like, £1 something each. So, yeah, extremely pleased. We're um, going to pack our bags and then go and eat something. Um... But yeah, just thought I'd update you there with all the packing. Can't wait to use these. This is a cardigan I'm going to make. But yeah, let's go, uh, let's go get some food. So we're currently walking around. It's Emanonu, but we're just outside the Spice Bazaar. And we're going to go... We're still looking for somewhere to eat, basically. We got sidetracked looking for handbags and belts. Um, we got some guy down to like 15 quid. Was it 15? Yes. 15 quid on a deal handbag. Um, but Mr. Hard Bargain here said no. So the search continues. It's not the end of the world if I don't get like a, a handbag because I mean at the end of the day I came here expecting yarn. So um yeah, the search for Dindins continues, but you can just appreciate like the whole harbour and everything and the other side, that's the north side of the European side, if that makes sense. So yeah, the search for Dindins continues. Since it's the last night, we're going to push out the boat. We're going to get three desserts. So three desserts coming up in one, two, three. Okay, that's two, but the, the hot one is coming. <laughs> Nothing is sacred. It's mine. Okay, so we got a canapé now. I've been wanting to try this the whole time we've been here. So, yeah, I think this is ice cream. So, I'll let you know what I think about this. Okay, there it is. You can't really taste that it's made of cheese. It's stringy, and it's nice. The ice cream is really nice. What do you think? Mm, really good. Tasty, yeah. He was laughing because I said we're going to push the ball out. <laughs> and in, in Farsi, apparently that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we just had the tasty desserts. We couldn't finish them all, but it was so good. Honestly, the tea is so good. Usually, like, being from the UK, I'll drink tea with milk. But, like, you, you don't need milk here. It's so tasty without. But, yeah, this is, like, literally, like, that's the river over there. And we're just about to jump on the tram on the way back up to the hotel. But um, there's some pretty popular places around here. So this place serving food, this place serving food over there. This is Burger King. We've not tried Burger King or McDonald's. Um, but they have Starbucks here as well. We've not tried that. But uh, anyway, back to the hotel. Last walk past the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia. So that, honestly, that dessert. But on it, the tram back was absolutely rammed. Like people were like, like sardines in a can. It was that rammed. I don't know if it was like the last tram or whatnot, but like, let me tell you, Istanbul is bouncing on a Friday night. There ain't no pubs here. People just go and fill themselves with all the food. It's great. I think I'd rather do that than go drinking, to be honest. But um, yeah, so back to the hotel. Early flight tomorrow. We're gonna go and pack the rest of the stuff because we did, we put all the yarn in the suitcases. Um, and the vacuum bags have been filled. So yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning when it's 6am, um, which will technically be 3am UK time. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Good night. Okay, technically it is like 7.65, like 4.30 in the morning in the UK. It's 7.30 here. And we're saying goodbye to the hotel room. I have no makeup on. I like a mess. Goodbye, hotel room. Bye-bye. Ooh, falling down. Okay, let's check out. <gasps>
Okay, so I couldn't film that, but every single crochet hook that I had in my hand luggage, the plastic ones, the metal one, they all got confiscated coming back through. So if you are traveling back home, once buying crochet hooks and everything, then you need to put them in the big suitcase basically, because like I, I could be bored, what am I gonna do on the plane? It's weird because I was allowed to use them on the way here, but on the way back they're like, no, it is forbidden. And I was like, oh God, I didn't think crochet was that dangerous. Never mind. Right, I still haven't had coffee, so I feel like ratty. So we're gonna go and try and get some coffee, try and get some breakfast, and uh, mourn the crochet hooks that I bought specifically for this plate journey. Okay, we have landed. We have one suitcase, two suitcases. We need the third suitcase because that one's got loads of wool in it. So any second now. It's coming. Here it is, here it is. Get the wool. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Mm-hmm, okay, we got it. Let's go, go get the car. I am absolutely 100% getting a coffee right now for the drive home because it will take an hour to drive home now. Be careful with my yarn, you. If that yarn goes on the road, I'll be so angry. <laughs> oh, right, okay, we're literally just about to pick the car up. This will be the end of the trip. But I hope you liked this video. If you did like this, please consider subscribing. Uh, please consider sharing this with other yarn friends. And also, I do have Instagram, which uh, I try to use as often as I can. I do have TikTok as well, if you want to follow me on TikTok, I was updating on there while I was away. Um, but yeah, every like, comment, subscribe really helps my channel grow. And if the channel grows, I can literally take you guys all over the world to look for yarn. So please consider doing this. I will see you in the hall. Hey, so if you made it this far, please consider subscribing if you're not already. Um, give it a like, a thumbs up, a comment. Let me know, would you travel to Istanbul for wool? Yes, you would, don't lie. Um, so yeah, the uh, the actual haul for this, there's 149 balls of yarn that I bought um, and that will be in another video because there was so much footage here that I wanted to show you and then I thought, well, I don't want to like not show people the fun that happened. So um, if you want to see the haul, that's another video. That's my next video on the channel. Um, they'll all be in the playlist, which is Yarn Travels, which I think there's only one video at the minute because I've literally already been doing this in September. So um, yeah, that's going to grow. I actually have a Scotland uh, yarn tour that I did around Perth, Montreux, Aberdeen and stuff that I need to edit so if you want me to get that up let me know and I'll try and get it up as soon as possible it was from last summer and um, this week we're going to Wales so um yeah Wales is going to be fun because I've had loads of suggestions from a Facebook group that I'm in so loads of people said go here go there go everywhere in South Wales so that's probably going to be another vlog that'll come up so after the haul video the next tutorial that's coming up is this beautiful uh I got this in Turkey this yarn this is the Nako Lucas Minos I think it is so this yarn has made a basket weave hexagon cardigan so I did say I think that I was going to make a basket weave hexagon cardigan with it and it is going to be so good it's not finished yet obviously because look here's half of it um but this tutorial will be up probably in about a week or two's time after this and the haul video and then after that I had planned to do my alpine stitch one so my alpine stitch cardigan the two halves of it are in here let me just uh let me just get the receipts so this is my alpine stitch hexagon cardigan in two halves okay so that was planned for after the basket weave one as well as a jumper 
Um, but I posted something on TikTok the other day and people just went a bit crazy over it. So in its first couple of days, it had over 10,000 views. And for me, having less than 300 followers on TikTok, that's pretty huge. Um, and it was like 50 comments so far. People saying, please make this into a full hexagon cardigan. So this little beauty, um, I was just playing around with the stitch and I was playing around with a yarn that I've got, which I didn't know what to do with. It's a CCB Batik um, and it's like mermaid colours. I don't have the colour name um to hand but yeah so there's this so i'm gonna do a tutorial on this one and this will be the the next tutorial hang on i'm folding it wrong this will be the tutorial that comes after the basket weave one so videos will be this istanbul vlog the haul from istanbul basket weave and then mermaid and then probably whales vlog if i can get it edited up in time because i'm a bit rubbish like that but anyway yeah so um like i said like comment subscribe really really appreciate it helps the channel grow the more it grows the more i can take you places because i've heard romania's got a damn good yarn scene and i want to go so if you want to jump over and see the haul if it's already up go right ahead and apologies if i'm making you wait like 24 hours while i edit it um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'm going to see you in the next one bye